Hello guys and I come back to a new episode. Now at the end of every month I'm going to pick 3 to 5 filmmaking gears and tools and give you my impressions on them. Now these are just impressions but for some of these products I'm going to end up making full reviews on them. So if you've not subscribed yet please consider subscribing and put on your notification bells so you don't miss this. The first one is the Moment Lens Adapter. Now this is an anamorphic lens adapter that goes onto your normal spherical lenses and converts them into an anamorphic lens. Now this is a 1.33x piece that converts your 16 to 9 aspect ratio into a 235 to 1 aspect ratio and gives it that glorious cinematic view. Now when it comes to anamorphic lenses, anamorphic lenses are very expensive and hard to find so for you to attain this look it's very 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 impossible for most upcoming creatures and with this new lens that moment is bringing out it's going to really change the game for beginners and low budget filmmakers because you could easily buy a normal spherical lens which is less expensive than an anamorphic lens get these adapter apply it to it and get the glorious look that you get from an anamorphic lens now i'm not going to assure you that you're going to get the same look that these glorious anamorphic lenses give but for a beginner or for a starter I think it's going to help you get into the cinematic style of filmmaking so this is something that I'm really excited about and according to moments it will be coming up in December but let's keep our fingers crossed and let's see if it does happen this year or next year now the second thing I want to talk about today is the Hollyland Solicom C1 now this company is popularly known for their wireless video transmitters and they just introduced this Solicom C1 into their lineup. Now I'm so excited about this product because for somebody who is constantly on a set, I believe this is going to be a very big improvement to our workflow. Now one thing I like about this product is that it has an inbuilt battery that is rechargeable and that is a nice touch. And the other thing is that the whole system is built into the headset. So there's not going to be cables running around you or any cables running from the headset to the radio and this is a nice touch now the third and final one is a new update coming to the ipad and that is davinci resolve yes davinci resolve is coming to the ipad in the last quarter of this year and apple has announced it on their page now for how powerful the ipad has become over the years and a lot of creators beginning to use the ipad as their mainly daily driver this is a big improvement for the ipad now davinci resolve is an industry standard editing software and having this on the ipad is a big 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 update and improvement for the ipad so now creators can buy the ipad and use it solely without even using a windows machine or a mac piece now just like the desktop and the mac version there's going to be a free version and a studio version coming to the iPad. So now creators can easily make videos with their iPad. And with this improvement, it makes the iPad a very powerful tool and a useful tool in the filmmaking space. So guys, that will be all for today. If you've not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and put on your notification bells so you don't miss my future videos. See you soon.